I want to thank a group of senators, Democrats and Republicans, for doing what they told me they would do. The uh, death of this legislation was mildly premature, as reported. They said they're willing to work in a bipartisan manner, and I want to thank them for keeping their word. That's just what they did. After years and years of infrastructure week, we're on the cusp of an infrastructure decade that I truly believe will transform America. As you all know, just a short while ago, the United States Senate passed the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, the very legislation I ran on when I announced my candidacy for the nomination for president. A historic investment in the nation's roads and highways, bridges and transit, and our drinking water systems and broadband, clean energy, environmental cleanup, and making infrastructure more resilient and the climate crisis much more in our minds is how do we deal with it. America's often had the greatest prosperity and made the most progress when we invest in America itself. And that's what this infrastructure bill does. With overwhelming support from the United States Senate, 69 votes in the Senate, a vote margin bigger than when the interstate highway system passed in the Senate in 1956. It makes key investments that will, one, create millions of good union jobs all across the country. America, America, this is how we truly build back better. This bill is going to help make a historic recovery, a long-term boom. Folks, above all, this historic investment infrastructure is what I believe you, the American people, want, what you've been asking for for a long, long time. This bill shows that we can work together. 